Mo Leung Tien Chin. Hello everyone from uh, Teen Dragons YouTube channel. This is Jisifu again. Now today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic, uh, which is uh, how to do evil magic. <laughs> um, well, we're going to talk about what is evil magic and how to do it. Um, basically, it, it, it's very logical kind of stuff, okay? And it doesn't really require a lot of knowledge in order to harm people with evil magic. Now, why do I want to make this video? Um, well, I'm not making this video because I want to convert you guys to be all evil monster here, cursing people and doing stuff to others, okay? Now, <laughs> the purpose is to understand the, um, like how easy it is to create uh, harm for other people and so that you, un you will understand what to not do for your friends, for your family, for your uh, whatever people that you're encounter with because it's so easy to mess people up. Now, of course, doing evil magic, there's a difference between professionals doing it and like a, a nobody doing it, okay? Like someone at home just trying to do it himself because the effect can be much greater when there is a more powerful, um, let's say, altar or whatever, okay? That, that can power up this magic. But basically, anyone can be doing evil magic by themselves right away. And it's pretty much uh, the same structure all over the world, okay? No matter what sect, what lineage, what style, it's about the same. So it's actually about the same uh, for good magic too, okay? So let's take a look at how it's done. Now, evil magic. Uh, let, let's have some like uh, common understanding here, okay? We're talking about things like doing magic to harm people, okay? To cause them, uh, you know, have, have trouble, uh, hiccups, sickness, whatever, okay? Uh, you want to deliver uh, uh, some shit to them, okay? So that it makes their life very shitty. Uh, basically, that's what we mean by evil magic here, okay? Now, the word evil. Uh, in our dictionary means that anything that stops them from going where they're supposed to go, okay? It's like their natural flow is like from here to here. Anything that jams them, okay, direct them other side or stop them from flowing forward is evil. So um, let's say if your intention right now, okay, your, your flow right now is to um, graduate uh, from university, and then you can come out and get a job and stuff like that. Anything that stops you from studying uh, is evil, okay? Basically, that's the definition. Um, maybe now you're driving to uh, a place to have lunch, okay? Anything that pops up and directs you away from this goal is evil, okay? So it doesn't need to be like a demon right there uh, and, you know, some ghost popping up uh, to scare you and that, that kind of stuff, okay? Um, so, yeah, anything that that fucks up your plan, okay? Very simple. <laughs> so it's like now your plan is to, uh, let's say your plan is to complete this project so that you can, uh, you know, uh, get it out and start selling your product and stuff like that, okay? Anything that stops this from happening is evil, okay? It doesn't matter what form it's delivered in. It's just anything that stopped you from uh, success, okay? Anything that stopped you from going to where you're supposed to go is evil, okay? So, um, yeah, basically that's uh, the definition of evil. How is evil magic done? Well, let's take a look at how human um, in general, sends this um, thing out of nature, okay? Like, you don't need to have a master or some kind of teacher to teach you this thing because every human being is born with the uh, ability of doing evil magic to harm people by distance. Now, how? We don't know, like, how are we supposed to know? Well, yeah, you did it without knowing, okay? That's why. Now, um, let's say, uh, okay, so 
so there's um, this guy who got an enemy, okay? The enemy, uh, let's say, okay, this is your enemy. His name is John, okay? John, keep on bullying you in school. Bullying, okay? So he uh, kick your butt and stuff like that and laugh at you, whatever, okay? Throw your homework in the fire, okay? All that kind of stuff. Now you hate John so much, what are you going to do? It like if you cannot beat him up physically, okay? What do will you do when you go home? <laughs> like imagine you you cannot beat him up. What will you do? Well, you would take his picture and then you keep smashing. Ah! <laughs> okay, keep doing that kind of stuff, right? We all do do that kind of stuff when uh, we are frustrated. You know, you take something that is related to this person that that you think uh, can represent the person. Okay, it can be maybe his gift, maybe his picture, maybe his email, his computer, whatever that is around you that you can pick up and it relate to him. Okay, now that first step is our natural reaction is I hate this guy. And then the first thing you want to do is I find something that can link to him. See, very, very logical, right? The first thing is you want to pick this guy out. Okay, it's like that. Okay, so imagine um, uh, right now I have a bookshelf in front of me. Okay, now there's one book in there that is uh, uh, given to me by this uh, John guy. Okay, my enemy. So I don't have his picture. What do I do? Well, I find something here that is related to him, which is the book, right? So I take the book out, and then what do I do? Well, you'll be like kicking it, throwing it on the floor, you know, venting your anger on this book, right? You just keep smashing it, you know, hitting it, stomping it, okay? Burn it, rip it, okay? Stuff like that. <laughs> so you do whatever you want to do um, to vent your anger, your feeling, okay? That feeling inside your heart. You vent them, vent them all into this uh, book and then you feel you felt relieved right now that itself is not yet evil magic okay it is a part of it but it's not done yet the problem is okay now this uh, container this book let me grab a book over uh, any book around for me okay um, just pick a book right here okay so this book okay it, it's uh, from John, so I beat the shit out of this guy. <laughs> okay, I'm done. So, all, right now what happened is, okay, this book contains all my anger, uh, my feeling, and what I want to do to John to cause whatever effect. Like, I want to beat John up so bad that he'll feel all the pain and you know this and that broken and you know break his arm whatever so I do all the stuff I can to this thing and it contains the message of what I want to happen to John right so this thing right now a beaten up book of John contains all that stuff it's like a program now I felt better after doing it. Why? Because my energy inside that I cannot vent to John is now vented on here. This thing holds your energy. It holds what energy? It holds your pre-heaven energies. Hey, it sounds pretty fancy. What the heck is this? Pre-heaven energy. I, ne I never learned that stuff. Yeah, you, you, you did. Okay, this is very simple because the whole thing is your your energy as in like the feeling, the intention. You get that that feeling right here is the pre heaven energy. It's very simple. It's so simple that you cannot think about it. Because this is the energy from your heart, your energy heart. And this heart is before the brain. Okay? It works before the brain. It's like how human how how do we work? We have a gut feeling right away, boop, and then a feeling comes up, and then we want to do something, right? You don't think, you do it, okay? Sometimes you have a feeling, and then you think, should you do it, right? But usually we just think, have a feel, and we do. That's the heart feeling, okay? This is what we call pre-heaven energy. This is the energy of creation. This is not any fancy shit. This is like very simple. 
energy of creation is that spark moment, that fire, that boom right away. And it comes out and you want to do something. That is the energy. It's so simple. And you don't need a little machine or whatever to prove it here. It's so simple. Whenever you have a feeling, a little urge, that urge, that feeling is generated by the heart energy right here. And this energy, everyone have it. No matter what religion you are, what races, what color you are, we all act the same way. Oh, I feel hungry. I want to eat. That's that's the creation energy. And what's next? Well, I will create the event of me eating in this world. See? Um, oh, hype. Oh, wow. I felt it. Uh, now I have a feeling. I want to create a video. Okay? Next step, I will create a video. Because of this feeling, I created the video. Isn't that a creation energy? Okay? <laughs> it's, it is a kind of energy that happens before something can happen. When this energy come up, then the event can be born and that's why we call this a creation energy. Now your feeling toward John, the, the feeling that you want to beat the shit out of him and stuff like that, all that feeling inside yourself will create something no matter what, right? It will create, for example, all that feeling inside. It can create the next event is it will make you go to John's house and burn down his house. It will make you go to John and take a, a Coke can and smash him, whatever it is, okay? It will create some sort of stuff that can let you, okay, or it have to be enough to let you vent all these feeling energy, the creation energy, vent all these things out of your body, okay? So it needs to be able to be like, uh, it needs to do something, or create something, okay, do something, that, that is equivalent and enough to carry all these energy and put it back to somewhere, to, to John or something like that, okay? So the thing is, if you cannot hit John directly, these energies are supposed to go to him because the feeling is all about your, 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 your anger toward this guy, right? Now, you cannot do it physically. You cannot touch him and put all my energy back to him, right? Why do we hit people when we are so angry? It's because I don't want that energy inside me. Now I'm venting. That's why I hit. I use the power to deliver it onto the body of the other person. When I hit more and more and more, I feel more relieved because the energy inside came out and that's why you felt relieved. We are like a balloon, right? All these air inside, whoosh, 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 and then all the air come out and w what? And went to his, his body. Now, instead of his body, it went to here. Now, this is a dead object, right? It carries all that stuff and it's not gonna feel pain or whatever, right? It's not gonna feel bad. This is just a book, dead object. Now, what makes this so magical is, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna give this book back to John. That's the magic. When you give it back to John, John takes this book and the book connect back to him. Okay? He put this inside his pocket or uh, uh, his, his bag or his uh, house. Okay? And when this thing is around, now all that crap you put in here is going to whoosh, and it's going to fuck him up. That's right. Because all these energies from you are labeled to John. Right? Okay, so all that um, uh, uh, fantasy of how you want John to fuck up. All these energy, creation energy, the feeling energy, you know, all this evil's energy. It's going to go into here and go to John. Now, John got this thing at home, right? And what will happen? Now, this evil magic is right now there and it takes some time for it to spread out that energy but it's for sure going to tag around John. Whenever John is around, this thing is going to be like, uh, there's a sensor installed in here. It will boop, and then start to and vent until all these energies are gone, okay? So basically, when will, when will this be gone? Well, it will be for a long, 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 long time, okay? So yeah, 
until this book is like there's a point where John can find out oh this book I don't want it anymore and he will throw this out and that is the point where he can detach from the evil magic now what will happen before that all your anger your feeling and all that stuff okay go into the book now venting off what happened is you will hurt John with all these pattern that you installed like all these uh, program pattern that you installed into the uh, book it will now be delivered to John so everything that John is going to do will be affected by this stink bomb inside his bag or house okay anything that he do is going to be affected and so this the pattern that you put in here will be uh, will be blending into everything that's happening with John so for example the pattern is like blah, 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 and so you got the book destroyed okay now that's the pattern okay something in full form blah, 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 got destroyed and in the meanwhile you feel sad angry and all that stuff now when he get this book at home he's gonna feel sad angry and everything is gonna get fucked up everything he do is going to be uh, like there's a, a kind of force inside him that will keep making him uh, uh, get wrecked up okay like like a destruction force it keeps on fucking you up like everything you want to do is like you want to do uh, Lego okay something will come by and whoosh, everything fall down okay um, you want to do this and it's just not successful you see if you do this to John John is going to see a lot of failure in life as he go on now one time doing this thing is not enough but imagine you're doing it all the time like every month you have something not happy about John and you just do the same thing again okay after a while John will be really fucked up because all these things that you do to his stuff and then give it back to him etc it's like a lot of stink bomb okay so a lot of bombs go to his house and what happened is well later on he's going to feel all that stuff affecting him uh, and everything in his life now let's uh, move up a step okay we're gonna get advanced on this uh, magic so uh, right here I would have bring a little helper right here okay you must have seen this kind of stuff I'm talking about like a little voodoo doll that kind of stuff okay now you don't like John okay I'm gonna take a big needle right here and I'm gonna like I don't like John <laughs> like this okay <laughs> what am I doing okay first of all what is a needle supposed to do a needle poke one point and goes into something right it's like injection okay a needle very simple it injects something into uh, 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 something right into someone or some some stuff okay so it's basically like injection okay so you take a needle and you poke it in here your intention basically is to poke in something right and what is that something the something is basically your hate your feeling your intention and all that stuff inside your mind and the feeling and that the creation energy inside your heart right you take it and then you okay now this is not a book right a book if I use a book to represent John this looks nothing like John right basically it doesn't look like John now a book can be let's say uh, a record of things okay from start to finish right so a book as a representative can be meaning that uh, whatever you do here is going to apply on John and it will screw up everything that he do as in like a book from the beginning to the end okay so I'm gonna screw up his like the pattern of how things are going to happen with John and I'm using a book now if I want to harm him as in his health and stuff like that okay now you will be stabbing onto something like this 
with a, a little human figure. Because now I want to, for example, okay, I want to stab his eyes so that everything he see is going to be fucked up. Okay, so it's like, oh, I look at this, I think it's so good, let's buy it home. Now, when it got home, it's actually a lemon, it's not good. See, that's one way you can affect someone, right? If, if Imagine yourself. Um, if you keep looking at things and then you believe something not good to be good, how's that going to turn out, right? Everything in life is going to be very fucked up because your your vision is uh, damaged. I mean, not the actual vision, but your vision as in like how you look at things and choose things, make decisions and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm going to poke your mouth, okay, and so that you're going to be uh, speaking the wrong things and stuff like that. Now, when you do that stuff to the, this, okay, what what's going to happen to John is the, um, uh, whenever he's going to use the mouth, okay, to eat, to talk and stuff like that, the pattern that you infuse into the magic is going to apply and blend into his action. So when he's going to talk, he's going to talk with a lot of hate, a lot of, stuff and whatever he's trying to say is gonna be like jammed and it's hard to for him to bring out what he wants to say from the heart and out it's all going to be like distorted okay so imagine you're going to like uh express yourself to let's say another person to get a date going okay and whatever you say it's kind of uh, 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 polluted with with bad language and stuff like that so even your heart is meant to be good, okay? When the other person get it, it sounds very bad. And basically that's because of some evil magic done on your mouth. Now imagine I stab the heart, okay? The center right here, the heart. And I want, what I want to happen is I want him to feel the wrong stuff. I want him to be a uh, bad temper and stuff like that. And the same pattern will happen with his heart, his magic heart, this, this, uh, energy right here so he will be having a lot of feel for like crazy things and basically it just make him want to do all the crazy stuff now where to stab and put whatever magic in here uh, will create a different result and that of course requires more knowledge on how our energy body works but before that okay anyone can just pick up a doll and then you know this is John, okay, and is that going to happen? Of course not. <laughs> okay, so why? What are we missing? Let's take a look at the book again, okay? Now, the book, you put all the crap onto the book, and what's next? You have to deliver this book back to John, right? Very simple. And that is why you see sometimes these sorcerers will tell you, okay, now this is like, okay, you take some uh, threads and stuff and you wrap around it and then you know wow for the fire and all that crap okay and then take this guy and put it under John's bed or somewhere uh, near John hide it around his uh, backyard somewhere near him right that's what happened okay you take the thing put it somewhere near him and next this bomb is going to sense John right and when it sends John, because John is around, right? It sends John. Now next is this magic power inside, okay? All that energy is programmed inside. This is like a bomb. It's going to vent and unleash into John. And John is going to get all that stuff. And then all the program is going to activate. And it's going to fuck him up. Basically, it's that simple. Okay, you don't even need to be a sorcerer in order to do this because think about it before human have what, what we call a, a professional uh, shaman or sorcerer, uh, magic wizard, whatever we want to call that. Okay, that, that, that kind of guy. Okay, before you have this kind of guy who invent the magic, human, right? Human automatically knows because of your feeling your creation energy you cannot like you want to hit john but you cannot really do something to him physically and then what and then someone will come up with this idea of venting it on john's representative 
and then later on I will put this back to John or somewhere near John and so John can get all these things and he can fuck up right this is like a container I want to uh, it's like this I want to um, uh, get my robot to bomb your house but I cannot do it right now so what can I do well I will put all the bomb into a container and all the robot and stuff and then I'll ship it to you Simple like that, right? Ship it to you. When you get the box, you open the box, and then you see what's there. Boom! Okay, that's basically what evil magic is about. And at the very beginning, when uh, like all kinds of different cultures and stuff, they will come up with this kind of idea. And it's very, 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 very easy to do. Okay, you can do it too. Very easy. Now, the same thing can be done for bad uh, reason uh, or a good reason okay it's like oh I want to cure and help and stuff you can also take the same pin and the same doll okay and then you you want to inject all the medicine the good stuff and then, okay so you start burning up the medicine uh, the herbs and then you get the energy from here and then you poke in here and do your healing spell uh, and then after all that stuff okay the thing hold all the good energy and the healing and all that stuff. Okay, hold the same thing. Now you put this and give it to someone and you know that John guy and have John put this under his bed or something like that. And basically the same thing went over but is now doing a good thing. See, it's the same pattern but it can be done for good or bad. It's just what you put in the container that matters, right? So doing this thing is very easy. Uh, evil magic no matter what form it is okay it's the same kind of pattern and the same kind of theory it's all about getting a container putting your uh stuff inside and deliver to the other side when they get it container explodes and basically it tracks down the person and keep uh flooding the person with the energy okay that's basically how it goes now what if you cannot deliver this energy to the other side I mean like the, this doll okay now it's like this okay sometimes when we have to like fight people with evil magic or, or you can say basically magic okay you want to fight with magic two magic uh, guys okay uh, like a standoff <laughs> they want to kill each other now what, what would we do like you can't really say I'm going to do this magic and I'm going to compile my uh doll and I'm going to ship it to you okay so what's your address <laughs> when you get it okay you ship me yours and we'll see who win okay? that's not going to happen right no one's going to give you the address so what are you going to do if you cannot reach the other guy like this physically what will you do well in the past okay uh more ancient ancient the old time people will will get people like spy agent to find out where you are but there's always case where you cannot do that okay now that's fine because there's what we call this soul um, capturing magic what it is is basically now I cannot see you or reach you okay so I take this little thing as your representative okay I will put something um, I, I will take something that can hook up to your energy which is your soul okay what, what we call the soul your soul is like the uh, a, a part of your energy and this energy is not visible energy okay? it's, it's something invisible but this soul is very easy to capture okay so we will use a magic to capture a little tiny fragment of your soul imagine the soul is like um, imagine your body is like a bottle okay and it's filled with blue gas inside okay blue gas now I take a tiny drop of that gas it doesn't like you won't even feel that stuff and all I need all, all I need is your name or something uh, that can connect me to you okay something that I can think uh, of or use and it reminds me of you that can already be the medium for example your nickname online your picture or maybe just a feeling uh, of or maybe it's just a feeling of uh, you okay in my heart I will take that as the medium and I'll do my spells and stuff and basically 
This is the absorbent. Now this thing absorb a piece of your soul inside. I do some stuff to lock it in. Now this is you. So what happened is instead of shipping this thing to you, okay, I cannot ship it to you, right? Now what happened is I do all the magic I want, okay? I put my food and my spells and all that stuff, okay? After I'm done, what do I do? I burn and destroy this thing. What happened when I destroy this? When I destroy a uh, container, all the energy inside this container whoosh and come out. Okay? Now the only thing is where will the energy go? Well, this energy doesn't belong to anyone that it doesn't go anywhere. It just go back to yourself right here. Okay? Now because this right here it got someone's soul in here. So it's like I captured a bit of your soul and I lock it in this container, right? So this container holds your soul and your soul wants to go away, but I seal and lock it up right here with my uh, magic. I didn't, I don't let it go out, right? Now the lock is open up and basically what happened is your soul will want to go back to you, right? So now the soul is going back to John. And what happened is this soul is like the leader. It will. It will lead everything to John. At the same time, all these bundle of crap is going to go with the soul. So basically the soul is like the delivery guy. And all these stuff are going to go and follow the soul. And basically the soul carries all the virus back to John. And John is going to get all these magic effects on him right away. Even he cannot get this physical item. And that's why we can hit people by distance without even having to mail them anything or know their address. All you need to know is really uh, maybe something, even their nickname or uh, something that you can call them by, you know, just a feeling, a container, okay? Um, you, must, you must have something that uh, you, can, you can use to relate uh, to this person. Now let's say this person went online and you know him online and you're going to like hit him online right like you don't know him you don't know his real name you don't know his date of birth and stuff like that okay all you know is his name is pq196 okay all you know is his name is pq196 is on the forum you can't even see his face what to do well i can do it you only need to know pq196 is equals to this person in your mind you know who you're talking to right that's enough. Now, this PQ96, this name can be the uh, variable, this, this container, okay? This thing equals to the linkage to this person. That's enough. Now, I can use this PQ196, this, nine, uh, this, sorry, this name to summon the soul and, con and then suck a little bit of that soul energy into here. Now, this guy got the PQ196 soul. It's going to be tied in here and I'm going to do my magic all the stuff put in all the crap and time bomb okay burn the thing up PQ196 trace all the way back to the forum and to this guy and basically this guy is going to eat the shit it's that simple evil magic is very easy to do just like good magic but the, the theory is like that okay now how strong it gets that's another story because what are we putting in here as the uh, power or the fuel for this bomb? <laughs> what is actually powering up this magic? What makes it so powerful is your heart energy. You see, the heart energy, pre-heaven energy, creation energy, okay? Your intention of what you want to happen is only a process, right? It's like, I want you to uh, uh, jump off the roof. I want you to do this. I want you to be destroyed. All these, I want to da, 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 A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All these are like a program. They're only a process. What makes the process really happen? Creation energy, the heart energy. That's the thought, like the magic power. 
okay? Fa, like Cantonese, this energy right here. And because if you don't really hate John so much, your magic power, your heart energy power is not going to be very big. And that's why if you don't really hate the person and you try to do this evil magic on this guy, it's not really going to work a lot. Okay? It's not going to do a lot of harm because your mind, your heart is not really, really, really fired up yet. Okay? So there's only a very little bit of energy right here that can be delivered as the power source. All that, what you want to happen to the other guy, it's just a little process. What powers up the process is what makes the magic happen. It's like this. I want to eat. I want to cook noodle. I want to drink iced tea. I want to eat sandwich. I want to eat sushi. I want to get full. I want to eat more. Okay, all these things I want, I want, I want. These are process. Okay? Now these process, which one will I be really doing at the end? It depends on the feel, right? My heart tells me, my heart gives me the feeling. Oh, I feel very good when I think about sushi. Next, you'll be wanting to eat sushi. Okay, very simple. Uh, out of so many things, why do you choose sushi? Because the heart, the heart have a lot of energy towards sushi. That's why I chose sushi, right? Now, if this heart feeling for uh, uh, doing, maybe like uh, for John to, to get sick, okay? The heart feeling is not a lot because you don't really hate him a lot. Then when the magic went over, he's not going to get really sick. Maybe just, you know, a little sneeze or something, okay? Not a lot of stuff. But if you really hate him, like as if he killed your father, that energy is going to go over there and really fuck him up badly because of the heart energy, okay? Now for professional sorcerer, like me, okay? People who do magic for people. We have a bank of this heart energy. The altar. Very simple. The altar is our power bank. The altar uh, purpose is to collect, accumulate, and uh, 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 cultivate this kind of energy. Because you cannot ensure every time you want to do magic, you are like super hyped about the thing, okay? So your heart energy is not always that strong. And that's why I need a container to store up energy of this type whenever possible. Every day, you store up a little bit. Every day, you store up a little bit. When I need, I can take and use, right? So right now, this little doll I'm not going to only put my own energy in here. I'm going to take this energy and put it in here as my power source, my battery. And my job is to put and give it a program what to happen, what to use this energy for. I want to, let's say, this energy is for fucking up his business, okay? I do the fool and then burn, burn, burn all the energy pack in here, okay? Now I burn this thing up. It's going to go to John and John is going to get fucked up. His business is going to get fucked up because my energy here take put here and deliver to him. That is a lot of energy right here. These energies are much stronger than your normal uh, feeling energy. Now of course if you really hate John and stuff and when you do it it's going to get even stronger. But what if you're like working for someone casting this evil magic okay. Then it means that you cannot really get some power out because you have no feeling toward this guy, right? Okay, so what happened is usually when I when we're doing it for people, you cannot really uh, use your own heart energy on this thing as the power. You have no feeling toward this guy. How can you curse him and stuff like that? Well, that's why you need the altar. The altar contains all these uh, accumulated energies that you store up on your normal days. And now you take it, Put it here and it can be used on anything. It doesn't really have to be doing bad stuff. It can do good stuff, okay? So evil magic, good magic, it's the same thing, but you're like packing different things into the box. Basically, it's like that. It's just like 
uh, uh, delivering a box to someone. You can put a bomb in there. You can put a gift in there. You know, like a, a cake or something. Okay, you can put poison. You can put a stink bomb, and at the same time, you can put some good stuff in there for them to have. Very, very cool, right? Now that's basically how evil magic is done, and uh, well, I know, like right now you're like, oh, but you didn't teach me any method. Well, to learn the method that we use in our lineage, you have to be ordained. Okay, so if you want to get ordained, you can check out our website. But right now, without ordaining, you already know what to avoid doing. Okay, it's like if you're. Uh, friend and you got into an argument and well you don't really like hate him to the point you want his life to be destroyed now your friend gave you a book okay you don't want to vent all that energy onto the book so that later on when you give the book back to him his life is going to be destroyed by you you don't want that to happen right so don't do that to the book because you might be fucking up your best friend's future because of this movement and you don't realize that you are the guy doing evil magic on people. And yes, this is already magic. When people come to me for help, I often tell them, hey, you got evil magic on you and it's done by your relative. And they don't believe it. They're like, my relative don't know magic. My relative is like not even a religious person. How can they be doing evil magic on me? Now, look, imagine your relative is speaking uh, bad of you and like venting about you and you know, all that bad heart energy uh, that, that they have about you, okay? They vented it on maybe your Christmas gift, <laughs> okay? Like, huh, I hate this guy, such a bitch, <laughs> too smack enough next pack it off okay this is her her christmas gift and then christmas came hey here you go now you kept that at home okay you kept the thing at home <laughs> now after five years of influence maybe more and more of these stack up at home what happened is all these energies inside the object are going to be like one bomb two bombs three bombs and it pollutes everything around you. You don't realize, but these are actually evil magic. They will be fucking you up. And you don't want that to happen, right? So when you give a gift to someone, that's why we say you must have good intention when you're giving something to someone. You don't give things to people with a bad intention because by doing so, you're already committing this evil magic crime. You're cursing them already. Oh, I give you this because I want you to fuck up your test. This is already one thing to fuck up their test. It's not like they must fail, but because of that intention and you smacking your intention in here, give to him, it will cause some kind of influence. So it decreased the chance of them answering the right question, doing better on the test and such like that. Now, at the end, I want to talk about how to avoid being affected, okay? Now, you have a lot of uh, knowledge about how to fuck people up, so how to avoid. Uh, should we not get any gift from anyone, or should we be, you know, just staying away from socializing and that kind of stuff? Uh, well, yeah, that's one good idea, but uh, it doesn't really need to be like that. My, personally, okay, for me personally, I am like an OCD right here, okay? What I mean is like energy-wise. So I don't like receiving gifts from people who I don't trust, okay? So it's like when I have disciples and some disciples want to send me stuff as a gift. I don't want them, okay? I only receive uh, gifts and things from disciples that I like and I trust and we call them the insider, the indoor disciples, okay? The special ones that I picked and think this is good, okay? I trust him or her. Now, for normal people giving me a gift, often I would not even take it. If I have no choice, if I have to take it, sometimes you don't have a choice, right? Uh, what do you do? Well, you take it back and you clean off the energy. Right, you reset the energy. You take the thing, okay? I know that there's crap on there already. Right away, I took it, I feel bad, I know there's something on it. So what you want to do is clean that off. Okay, you want to clean off the energy. That's why we have 
the magic <laughs> that we practiced. So you do the magic and you clean off the stuff, reset the energy, and now everything become neutral again. And now this is not a time bomb anymore when I keep it. Now, one thing to know is sometimes you clean off once, right? Energy on the surface is out, but there's always some left over. And you cannot ensure that it is not connected to the other person and always can draw back some, like draw in and suck in some energy, right? So sometimes that will happen. When people do magic, sometimes that will happen. Um, no matter like the real magic or the, the intentional, that kind of magic, okay? It doesn't matter. It will happen. This and the person is related because this is given by this person. There's a linkage. So when this person keeps doing the same kind of crap to you on an other object, it will also send some stuff to here as well. As time go on, this will accumulate a bunch of crap on top again, and it will be a time bomb. So what we do is we clean off the stuff, and then we have to use our uh, magic stamp to mark the thing as not belong to this guy anymore. This right now, stamp. This is now, this is owned by, uh, this is like uh, 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 authorized and linked to my altar. Now what happened is because the altar is one thing that we, we, we can set the power of the altar to always channel to this object, okay? So it will always be filled with your positive energy and that stuff is not able to access this thing anymore because what happened is you clean off the stuff you lock it and then you change the whole system now this is not related to the person anymore very cool right that's why you need to learn the magic in order to do these things if you don't learn and you don't cultivate for the power and such you cannot do it okay so that's what's so fun about talus magic uh that we teach is very practical it's like you don't have to have someone hiring a person to do evil magic on you they can be giving you a lot of gift and you can be really fucked because of this because yeah like if you don't want to be very fucked all the time you know just watch where you're getting your stuff sometimes you know uh, there are people who always like to pick things from donation box and that kind of crap okay like cheap ass what happened is, when people put stuff in the donation box, some people really have bad intention. Like trolls, okay? They want to give things to donation box, so when people get it, they're gonna suffer, they're gonna get sick, <laughs> okay? And then what happened is, when you pick from the donation box, all these bad stuff's gonna go to you, and you're gonna fuck up. So yeah, getting things from the food bank donation boxes, there's no guarantee. You don't know what, uh, kind of energy is inside these objects. That is why I always tell people, do not do that kind of stuff, okay? When you need something, buy it, okay? Buy it yourself. When you buy something, you claim this uh, ownership because you you give money to exchange for this thing. When the only ownership is transferred to you, you don't own the other person anything, there's no more linkage to the other person, and this is yours, okay? Next. The hardest thing is to clean it up, but with magic, it, like the magic that we teach, you can clean it off. And basically, it's not going to be a time bomb when it stay at home. See? Very cool, right? So yeah, be careful when you are getting a lot of gift from someone, things like that. Not always the good things to have stuff, especially freebies. Because when people give you freebies, it means that something is going to go out from your pocket soon while you don't know. <laughs> okay? So hope you like this video and we'll see you next time. Remember to uh, subscribe, share, comment below and we'll see you next time. Okay, so bye-bye.